Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be May monthly, but if you call to this reading at a later time, it's still valid because it's energy. I don't, it doesn't expire based on how I do my readings, okay? And whenever you are called to this, it's the right time. Whenever you're called to other readings, it's the right time for you. If you're a subscriber, I'd love to know your top placements. And if you're a returning viewer, but you're not subscribed, I welcome you to subscribe and support the channel should the readings resonate with you. I welcome you to like and comment as well to support the channel. And let me know that the readings are resonating. For those readings that get the most views and most likes and support, I am doing bonus content, okay? Um, I started in a, a few days ago, and so that will be for all of the top readings. Now, um, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with you. It's a, if you want a personal reading, then you can reach out to me in the email in the description box below. There's also all information in the description box below. Check that out. Or via my website where there's the other services as well, like energy healing, light work manifestation, cord cutting, life purpose coaching, all, all other services. All right. So do check that out. And also, this is going to be split into the first 10 days, middle 10 days, last 10 days of the month. Obviously, the energy can overlap. And it can also be like, let's say you come across this reading on the 10th of May, 10th of June, whatever. Take it first 10 days, second 10 days, and last 10 days, okay? Your energy has been called to it for this, at, this time, at that time for a certain reason. I feel like there's something else that I need to say, Aquarius, but I don't know what it is. Let's get into your reading, eh? Okay, so all Aquarius placements, first 10 days of May, please, Spirit Guides. Card popped out. First ten days of May. So the first, the first card that came out is the Seven of Pentacles. Then we've got the Strength card, and I'll get you one more card. Two of Cups. So what I see here, Aquarius, is that you've been really working hard on something, right? With the Two of Cups, this could be around a partnership. You know, it could be around a, a love situation where you have really been putting in the work diligently and you're looking down with the strength card. Is this going in the right direction? OK, whether it's to do with your job your, or love, um, you're kind of looking down and saying this is taking so long to move forward. Um, what do I do? I'm kind of getting a bit. I can't say bored, but you're, you, you know, you're starting to feel like, um, I'm drilling away here and it's actually encouraging you to plant the seeds for your future and look at your long-term goals. This is needed strength. And I think some of you have been doing that. This could also be the time that you've been trying to put into this partnership or love situation. If some of you, if it's not around love, then it's telling you from the seven of pentacles and the strength that you've had, you are gonna have a breakthrough of a partnership. It could be a contract, so you and a company, or it could be the breakthrough of this partnership reconnecting. Let's get, can I have clarification on the two of cups, please? Clarification on the two of cups for Aquarius. Hierophant. I think some of you are going to be definitely receiving a contract through whether it's to do with work, whether it's to do with love, whatever it is, it's going to be more of a balanced situation where you're giving and taking, you know, you're putting in the work and you're getting the uh, fruition back. It's a balanced partnership. It's formal. 
uh, whether it's to do with love, whether it's to do with work, this is something that you've been trying to work on. And, you know, uh, that is what's coming through for you for the first 10 days. Let's look at the second 10 days. We've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the Nine of Cups and we've got the Temperance. OK, so this is telling me this could be the Knight is could be the contract that's being delivered to you. And the Nine of Nine of Cups and the Temperance card is telling me that you probably need some rest to regain your glow again look after yourself and some of you might already be in this energy of looking after yourself and really balancing what you feel where you felt your life has been either stagnant or a bit upside down or not moving um, but it is actually on the right side and you are in the middle 10 days you'll be glowing you're looking after yourself you're nurturing yourself with the temperance card a Sagittarius could be significant for you in May or in your energy or it's your placement. The Knight of Cups, something is coming through for you. There's patience that's needed with the Temperance card as well. The Two of Wands, remember with the Seven of Pentacles, I said planting seeds for long-term goals. The Two of Wands is you really looking on the horizon on what are your next steps and you're going forward. Some of you could be actually looking to relocate with this. Some of you could be getting a job offer or the connection um, abroad, okay? I think you need to, um, and then the full card is telling you to take that leap of faith. So if you receive an offer to move, to go abroad, um, to move in a new direction of life, the fool is telling you to take that leap of faith. I really feel that some of you are needing to release and replenish for some reason. The only card that's showing me that so, so far is a temperance card. So I will dive into that if I get more cards. Um, the page of pentacles, again, that's, that is in your last 10 days, moving from middle to last 10 days, is around um, an offer. But it could be that some of you are looking to take up new study in a new career field with the full card. We've got the Nine of Swords, which might now connect to, are you doubting yourself between the 10 day, middle 10 days to the last 10 days? Um, you're so close to the finish line here. And if you are going back to study or start a new skill, you also need to have the uh, confidence and blessings will manifest to you. They are coming through for you, um, Aquarius. And as soon as you surrender and allow room to find them, find room for them to find you, it's all coming in. If you see the page, the knight, the fool, the two of wands, it's telling you, you just need to balance your energy here, which is what I was getting. You know, don't think too far ahead. And also, although I'm saying plant the seeds for your goals, don't think too far ahead of like, how, oh my God, I can't do this. The fool is telling you to take that risk of faith. Even if you feel like you're a bit of, um, you're a bit raw at this time to take that leap of faith, don't think too far ahead. Be grateful for whatever has gotten you to this stage. Now, before I go on to pull more cards for the last 10 days, I'm being called to pull your spirit animal for Aquarius, a spirit animal for Aquarius placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all placements, Aquarius, a spirit animal, please, in terms of the current energy from middle to last 10 days, middle to last 10 days, last 10 days. So, um, snow Leopard, self-reliance. Remember, I was saying, believe in yourself. You're strongly independent and often solitary. Integri integrity is important for you for your best outcome. And um, cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in a perfect way. So there is definitely a surrender and release here. And you are... I feel like you've got some ancestors coming through as well for you. So you might be having dreams, but I think it's time to also, if you're feeling this, give yourself a rest. So if I'm saying this and you're like, yes, I need a rest, give yourself a rest. You need to give all 
give all that overstressing a break, get grounded, pour back into your cups, know you're self-reliant, be confident, even in a new direction that you're going, remind yourself of the strength and lift yourself back up. What's interesting, I was talking about the page where you might feel that you're a bit raw and a bit new to something and you're lacking a bit of confidence. If you look on this snow leopard, there's also another one there. So there's a big one and then there's a smaller one. And it's encouraging you to, you know, don't fall into feeling small, okay? It's really, the spirit animal is really connected to what I was channeling and the tarot card. So let's continue on your last 10 days of May. Uh, protect yourself, protect your health, protect your wealth. But protect your health when... Um, when needed your mind and body and spirit it's time to really do um some rest and release and rid yourself any stale energy or whatever you need to do to feel more more alive and release where you basically rest right do what you need to rest and get creative um by creative i mean do something you're passionate makes you happy i think that's going to help you um with this snow leopard i'm also getting trust um be careful who you trust with your intuition um i see you will definitely be blessing others and someone will be blessing you all right you definitely getting blessings coming through and we got a card finally you can't see the best of you if others um if you're neglecting yourself and you can't see the best in others if you're neglecting yourself as well um, I see that you're feeling stuck or like a situation is, um, you know, not moving forward um, or something that you felt was a good idea is not turning out the best for you. Remember, you have to release the power um, uh, of yourself and things will change. And look at this. Exactly. I saw the eight of I saw the five of cups as I was channeling what I was saying and the six of swords. You know, this is no longer serving you. And this is also where you, you know, you, you feel like maybe you've given power, you know, you're crying over things that have gone or you're attaching to that, you know, that you don't need to give power to, and you've been giving power to it and it's not worth it. Whatever dilemma you have right now, um, just relax and actually, uh, when you then feel you've relaxed and release if you need to come back to think about it whether it's this step in the direction that's going to be best for you because the correct choice will come through on a clear perspective grant yourself grace and patience like the temperance card is showing right and move away from not feeling satisfied knowing this energy you need to ch you need the change right change is telling you there's a change that's needed there's a change you know you want as well and it's happening for you you just need to move away and stop looking at what is empty around you even if you turned around you didn't even have to go very far in front if you just turned around you'll find there's two full cups here three cups on the ground are empty two cups behind you granted three is more than two but they're empty so you've got two full cups behind you. You don't even have to walk very far in front, all right? And the Six of Swords tells me this is where you're like, I'm done, I'm leaving it behind. But first you're gonna take a rest and then you're gonna release and you're gonna change to walk in this new direction. And you're releasing. If you look, they're, they're sat there with no nothing. They're not taking any baggage. They've released, you know. There's a transition here in your life. There's a transition period. Um, moving towards the future. And that's where you get the full card coming in, all right? With the Two of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles as well telling you your future is bright and you're actually looking upon your future the pages where you might feel a lack of confidence in an area but with the nine of cups the temperance card you're releasing the anxiety you're releasing the lack of confidence you're stepping in the right direction okay and then we've got the king of cups all right looking after yourself but not over giving to anyone's really important during this time um, and I think you're going to see things a lot clearer. The hermit comes out. 
Someone who's been in solitude knows they need to go into solitude to see things clearly. And you know, that lamp is shining the way. I can see things clearly now. And you actually know that you are um, headed fairly early on. It's You know where things are headed, you know. Um, but it's kind of like you've had a bit of a lack of trust. If it pulls your heartstrings, your mind and heart are often at odds with one another. And I think that's what's caused a bit of issues here. You're aware that a certain uh, situation in your life is meant to change and end and you're going in a different forward moving direction. The introspection, the temperance card, the nine of cups is looking after your mind and body is really helping you. And with the snow leopard, self-reliance, you're strong, but you still need to give your time to heal, to take that introspection when you feel like you need that. You know, in the star card, which is your card, there's a star, isn't there? And if you look at this lamp, I feel like it's a light, but it also looks like a star. So it's really giving me that energy as well. And Empress, look at that. You're nurturing yourself. With that nurture, you're actually, there's a glow up here. If we've got the King of Cups and the Empress. That means that some of you could be attracting a divine counterpart, okay? Very nurturing relationship, all right? Emotionally connected to each other. If some of you are in a relationship, I feel like fertility is quite high. If you're looking to get pregnant, excellent time towards the um, end of May. But also remember, at the beginning of May, we have the Two of Cups and the Hierophant, signifying possible contract deepening a connection a marriage, um, um, a formalization of, uh, of, uh, of your relationship. And if you're trying to get pregnant, it's a good time to get pregnant. If you, you could, some of you could actually be pregnant, you know, and the Ace of Cups, definitely. Love is coming in. If you've got love, it's, 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 it's overflowing. I, this is, speaks a lot around fertility for me. So be very careful. You know, you're both very hot and heavy in love. You're, you're glowing. You've taken the time out to glow. Nurture yourself, Aquarius. Whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. And then someone is, one of your your partners getting pregnant or fertile. Um, or you could try to be getting pregnant. It's a good time too. If you're attracting a new love, this love is going to really be nurturing for you. And it's really going to be um, something that speaks to your heart and something I feel I'm getting for some of you that you've been waiting on for a long time. With this fool card, this could be what the fool is saying. Take that leap of faith. All right. And the Hierophant and the Two of Cups at the beginning, what it's saying is the contract is coming in, is telling me that this is not a short term lived um, relationship if it cut, if it's... Um, that comes in for you all right or this new love um if you're asking for money know that it's always available and your spirit guides are telling you that you could be wishing for the new opportunities and possibilities right now and they're coming towards you we can see that as you heal and move away um some of you need to practice the stillness like i said to listen as well to your ancestor or the messages that you're getting strongly coming in there. And there's transitions, there's ends of cycles here, but there's new beginnings, there's partnerships, there's working together, there's money opportunities, there's blessings coming in for you. The king of, the queen of swords, you know, you're able to then really lose your discernment to take your decision you need to, to move forward where you found like, I'm not really sure I can use the discernment and you're moving past the heartbreak, the grief, anything that's kept you upset and maybe held back. Um, you're moving away from this in the um, in the month of May. The page of ones tells me that you are going to take inspired action, even when you feel a bit scared to do so. You know, we've got the page of page of page of wands and the page of pentacles what's beautiful of this you also have the two of wands where you you have that bit more confident and you're moving forward but there's great ideas with this 
and do listen to them you know it's really important i feel like i need to pull more uh two more cards on the page of wands all right but i'm going to pull it from this deck aquarius please page of wands aquarius one card man woman holding a coin heartbreak so yes it's really moving away we had the three of swords we've got it again it's moving away from anything that's broken your heart been of grief to you not been easy on you and caused you to be in your head as well and maybe feel a lack of confidence and also where you've needed to take rest and replenish now the woman holding a coin for the page of wands is telling me your ideas and the way forward you need to go is very abundant okay queen of pentacles energy as well woman holding a coin number six is soulmate energy as well and the six of swords is moving away into the right direction and number nine is a completion of a cycle and you will be moving into a new cycle so that's beautiful for you aquarius um let's pull you some final messages of light we've got a birthing new age and you've got the sisterhood rose all right now with this pillar of light it's a beautiful card it's saying your vibration is raising you are the oracle and that's what we've said by taking the rest you're you start to feel more aligned with yourself and you become the pillar of light where your vibration is raising and you're attracting this new stuff. The next one, the birth of the new age, definitely transition. You're bringing in the new journey, a birthing of new age. I might call you reading that. Um, it's like dreaming into the new world, but it's also dreaming it into your reality, all right? You're dreaming it and you're bringing it into fruition. Um, and that's beautiful, Aquarius. And then the sisterhood rose is really about someone who's like a teacher, a mentor, um, a divine like priestess, whether you're masculine or feminine. Um, there's beauty and there's devotion behind you. I think this is where you take the healing out and you time out to heal and you respect yourself, you know. Um, there's energy of similar to the snow leopard where it's about your ancestors or your past loved ones or angels are speaking to you there's a mystical energy around sisterhood of rose as well and i'm not surprised with the transition and the birthing of new age um i think you know there's new creations and a new journey here waiting for you just to you know take that time out you need and then go forward but don't sit back into any energy that's held you back or caused you any upset or grief um i hope you enjoyed your reading aquarius if you did like i said give it a like and subscribe and check your top placements because there's always readings for your top placements coming out that you will have messages that are going to help you um and speak to you when you're called to that message so do check your top placements and i'll see you in your next reading if you have a um if you had have a lovely day wherever you are in the world bye for now